For some diseases, there are good therapies. For other diseases, there are cures. But for pancreatic cancer, it's difficult to diagnose. And once it is diagnosed, there's not a lot that we can do for the patient. Oftentimes, it's back pain or abdominal pain that triggers it. But the reality is it's been growing in your body on average 10 to 12 years, silently, and it's hidden in plain sight. While I was in college, I got a phone call from my mom saying I had to come home because my dad had just been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. I thought I could use my knowledge, I thought I could use my studies to, to help find options or, or treatments or, or clinical trials, but there was nothing. And 14 months later, he passed away. And about 10 years later, my uncle has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And that's very, sorry, it's emotional because uh, it's hard. Nothing had changed. There still was nothing that I could do. And that's the situation for, for basically all pancreatic cancer patients. And that doesn't sit well with me. Um, I want to be able to do something about it. A few years ago, I was able to start my lab and really dedicate it solely to fighting pancreatic cancer. The day that Sarah received her diagnosis, when I walked into the room and saw the look on her face, uh, it's the worst look on anyone's face that I'd ever seen. I mean, she was just absolutely shattered. Um, and it was really hard. It was really, really awful. We just chose to, to fight. We'd met uh, a research scientist who had basically confirmed, look for the winners, look for the people who've beaten this, and look for the science behind that. Dr. Ron Evans was a name that was flagged up. He's like an astronaut. He's a really soulful man. For me, the bigger the problem, the more interesting it is. My lab studies how cells and disease mechanisms work, and by deconstructing that, we come up with many new ideas for how diseases happen and how you can actually develop new treatments. The Salk Institute is one of the very few freestanding research institutes in the United States. It's a place where people are challenged to use their imagination at the highest level to really understand problems. As scientists, it's really important that we remain connected to the patients and their families. Sarah contacted the Institute looking for more options. And across the Atlantic, we, we worked with her and her family to try and figure out what might work better for her specific cancer. When we get people like Sarah, this makes such a difference in bringing us together to work in a focused way. Every discovery begins with the use on a small number of people, maybe one in the beginning, and then it expands. Right until the day Sarah died, she fought really hard, right literally to her last breath. She wasn't giving up. I really believe it is possible to cure cancer, but there's got to be the will. Cancer research takes time and money, but pancreatic cancer doesn't wait for you to raise more money. It doesn't wait for you to have more time. It just seems unfair that there are others out there that don't have that opportunity because they don't necessarily know where to start. Ron and Danny will work with anybody to achieve a cure for cancer. You look in their eyes and you just know that they really, really want to do that. Collaboration is the fuel of creativity. We can do our best work if we're doing it together. We're not giving up, we're not slowing down. We're moving forward as fast as we can, and this is the time to do it. The cure is out there. It wants to be discovered, and we're gonna discover it.